Ani, how are you doing today? All good. Doing very well. Thanks for having me with you here today. We are super excited to have this conversation with you and and I have to be honest like I was thinking of so many questions because we have the opportunity of having you today with us and um, while we are going to talk about business and everything else that's happening in the industry and so forth I do want to take a moment to learn a little bit more from you about your life journey I mean you are one of the most successful um and powerful women in India as you reflect on some of the experiences you have had in your journey what are some of your your personal learnings both from a business perspective as well as personal perspective that you are taking in the vc world um let's talk about business perspective first i think it's really important to go back into yourself and say why am i doing this and why is this important to me and go back to your own sense of self belief and your own sense of self worth so the two things very important i feel is um ability to look within you to find all of the support courage uh and conviction that you need to keep going that's not to say that um you is to mentors i've had great mentors and you know there is a narrow circle that uh is aligned with you and believes in what you're doing and can provide you also a mirror sometimes to say you know uh, and so that inner circle is always very important to have and so one believe in yourself second have others with you that believe in you right and the third on a personal level the one thing i've learned is we no longer can say work and family or work life it's the same thing when you are working on certain days 15 hours a day and uh, you know when you have aging parents like i do ha- you know everything has to flow and merge you know and <clears throat> much earlier in my career when i was younger and you know especially as a woman i think i felt i could not let those things cross and i had to create very straight lines because you know you might be judged i don't know if i would have been judged or not but i just felt i had to create that and i know many women do feel that way you know but today i i don't think i need to explain uh both aspects of my life that much and create those uh tight boundaries i think there is some zigzag and gray zone that flows in the younger self of mine i don't think allowed myself that much permission in a professional life to have my personal life intrude uh, uh and today i'm far more flexible on that and, and this is really awesome um vani and as you were speaking right i was actually reflecting on my own past experiences because i think com- being brought up in a very small town in india in a very remote um, setup i think i got to this point in my life primarily because of the sponsorship and mentorship of a lot of people around me who actually believed in my capabilities so uh, like spot on on uh, your reflections really appreciate the sharing and as i i'm just thinking um, uh, aloud right i mean you mentioned like these are the critical attributes that you see as you're thinking of um building businesses and you think of like interacting with the younger generation people and the startup community and the entrepreneurs what do you think about experience do you think experience um, is a precursor to build successful startups or you think it is overrated overrated <laughs> extraordinary things are not done necessarily by people who have been there and done that just look at history right if we have to learn anything from it and why is that not because you know i think sometimes ignorance helps you because you try at least yeah. right and trying in the uh, with a open mind and and because you don't know it can't be done you have a chance of maybe being able to um uh do it uh you know uh, because you're going to look at it from a fresh pair of eyes so i believe that at least specific to startups right uh it's important to not think overthink about experience of course there is some experience to everything right i mean there's a certain background that allows you to even attempt something um but i think somebody who's a specialist doesn't necessarily create a startup that's a breakthrough often 
So you just spoke about what makes a great startup. Um, and just based on all the interactions and experiences you've had interacting with different kinds of startups, what is your usual preference? Do you prefer a one founder startup or you prefer a founding team? Like what have you seen um, based on the past successes and failures? So first, uh, founding team is better if we can have a diverse founding team. Within that, if the team has natural roles uh, and especially the leadership behind whom they are going to align, very clearly defined, I think that's fantastic. Uh, Single founder is not a no-no. I mean, I think sometimes uh, certain problems uh, are probably better attempted by a single founder. So I would say that uh, founders, before they come together as a team, they need to have the very difficult conversations. And there are probably, in fact, I think I did a post on this. There are probably top five, seven questions that founders need to talk amongst themselves as a team, and they would be better off for it and you know, create less friction in future if they did that. Um, on that topic, because we are discussing about what makes uh, a startup successful, how are VCs approaching um, the trends in the market and what are some of the things that you are observing which you are capitalizing on? There is a fundamental shift in social behaviors, right? You're probably not of the generation, but I remember, you know, for my generation, there was one TV in someone's home and the door is open, all neighbors can come in and, you know, TV watching was a collective community experience, right? So <clears throat> I remember those days. I mean, every day somebody could become a star and there are Insta stars with 20, 50 million users, YouTube, you know, so we know this phenomena. But I'm very interested in, uh, entrepreneurs who are uh, creating the next generation tools that allows everyone to have a shot at being that creator, being that star, and everyone to be able to have access uh, in an affordable way to consume what they choose, when they choose, you know, and how they choose. But I'm very interested in uh, entrepreneurs who are uh, creating the next generation tools that allows everyone to have a shot at being that creator, being that star, and everyone to be able to have access uh, in an affordable way to consume what they choose, when they choose, you know, and how they choose, right? So that aspect uh, is where I hope we can find the startups, fund them, and, uh, you know, let this unfold. I, I love your vision. I love your vision on how you are thinking of democratizing the platform and how that will potentially help to drive more economic parity and help uplift the overall standard of living of people across the board, regardless of where they come from. So uh, one last question, Vani. I mean, you have interacted with so many different startups. What are some critical piece of advice that you would give to somebody who is starting off early on this journey in the media and entertainment sector? It's a hard sector to break through, okay? Uh, and uh, it's an expensive sector to break through also. There are some things that are timeless, which is, you know, believing in your vision, which we talked about in the beginning, doing it for the right reasons because you are passionate to see a vision of what you have come to life and that gives you joy. Everything else will happen, you know, but that gives you joy, right? And so if you chase that high, the joy of seeing your vision come to life, I think all other challenges, setbacks, they're part of life, you know, journey of life will have a lot of setbacks, okay? Uh, and setbacks are really learning opportunities. I look at setbacks as gifts because they push you to the edge um, of knowing what you are capable of. Otherwise, how would you know, right? I think at the end, whichever industry it is, entrepreneurship is a deep uh, self journey. And uh, I would advise uh, there isn't a better time than now and uh, where, uh, you know, opportunity is not strangleholded um, and you can create your, uh, uh, your your vision and bring something new to life. 
what have you done that you are most proud of mm so many things so this is a rapid fire uh my first company that i sold uh two daughters that i've raised the first marathon that i ran because a lot of these things i don't think there were moments when i thought i couldn't do it so that's what i'm most proud of achieving something that i thought i couldn't so inspiring uh, what is your least favorite type of music heavy metal <laughs> <laughs> i second that so you can't deal with it gives me a headache sorry for anybody else i might offend out there but she asked the question <laughs> <laughs> morning noon or night morning always morning early morning okay what is your favorite cuisine oh gosh i love to cook okay so and i experiment a lot in my cooking mixing things uh, mixing ingredients trying to uh, make uh, different things it's very therapeutic for me and i love feeding people so you're welcome to come home sometime okay so <laughs> thank you for um, the invitation i'll tell you what my favorite cuisine is something that's truly rooted and authentic i like to discover what is cooked in someone's home okay from their wow. family recipe right and i love to gather those and then uh, you know try different things that are truly authentic uh, from how it's made at home uh, there's something about homemade food which is absolutely exceptional isn't it like you can't get that in any restaurant anywhere uh, the last question for you which new technology will transform the future you know i've been thinking about uh, how facial recognition and within that you know uh, cognitive analysis out of that i mean it's coming i don't know if we are prepared for it and what would that mean from a future could be accelerating could also be scary in how a uh, social change may happen out of that maybe a little bit beyond my time or within my time i don't know but i feel that how we a uh, second guess humans and hence what do we do with that is going to fundamentally disrupt who we are what we are how we live yeah and there is a whole conversation around ethics in ai and responsible ai that is coming because of technologies like facial recognition and so forth so you are spot on Thank you so much Vani. I totally enjoyed the discussion today. Uh, I know it was very busy schedule for you when you took out this one hour so really appreciate it. Thank no, you so I'm much. Do it. I had fun doing it. Thank you and good luck with the entire series and for contributing to our ecosystem in this in this way. Thank you.